Today we're going to talk about notation in terms of congruent triangles. So the first thing we need to talk about is that two figures are considered congruent if they are the same in every way. That means angles, side lengths, area, and perimeter are all going to be the same. Let's make sure that we're okay with notating the parts of a triangle. So the parts of a triangle are the sides and the angles. So in this triangle, we have sides and angles, three sides, obviously it's a triangle. So I have side AB, and since that's a segment, we put the segment mark over it. We have side BC, and then we have side AC or CA. Now, I can flip all of those around and make it BACB or CA, uh, which doesn't matter if I have one triangle, but when I have two triangles, we're going to talk about the order matters because my vertices need to match up. And then I have my angles. I have angle A, angle B, and angle C. Since this is a standalone triangle, I don't need to do any of those with three letters, but you can always use three letters if you want. Corresponding parts basically means matching parts, and when you have two figures that are congruent, each pair of corresponding or matching parts are congruent. That means if I have two triangles that are congruent, the corresponding angles are congruent, and the corresponding sides are congruent. So if we want to write congruent statements from a congruent triangle, you always want to list the corresponding vertices in the same order. So we're going to learn how to notate the triangles first. So to say that we're talking about a triangle, you're going to put literally a little triangle. And then I'm going to color each of these angles. And I'm going to match up the uh, angle markings. So I'm doing the ones the twos, and the threes. I think this is going to help. So we have red, blue, and green. So it doesn't matter which order I go in. I could do green, red, blue. I could do blue, red, green. But I need to be consistent about the order that I'm going in. So I have triangle. I'm going to just go blue, red, green. So my blue one is B then my red one is A, and my green one is C. So that would be congruent to triangle. I need to go in the same order. So in my other triangle, the blue is E, the red is D, and then the green is F. I specifically didn't do ABC is congruent to DEF to show you. It's not about it being alphabetical at all. Um, it just so happens that that's what I chose in these examples. And then we are going to do angles. So the two red angles, angle A, is congruent to angle D. Angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle and then we'll do the congruent sides. So just like with the triangle part, my sides I need to go in the same order. So I'm going to do um, A, B first. So A is red, B is blue, which means it's going to be congruent to D is red, E is blue. And I could flip both of those letters if I wanted to. Gonna need a little whoa. First time using this program, so all right. Let's do the next one. So maybe I want to do uh, B C. So B is blue, C is green. Congruent to E is blue, F is green. Add your congruent symbols. And last one, I have C, A is congruent to F, 
D. Obviously you don't need to use the colors, but I think, I just came up with it, I think that it's going to help you see that the order matters for um, how I'm naming these. You have to have the matching vertices when I'm naming the congruent triangles. So now there are two problems on the back that you're going to try, and um, I'll look at those when you submit the pictures. The next thing we need to talk about is the third angle. So if I only know that two angles of a triangle are congruent to two angles of the other triangle, we can actually conclude that the third angles are also congruent. So in this figure, I have angle C is congruent to angle E. So since angle C is congruent to angle E and angle A is congruent to angle D, then we know that angle B B is going to be congruent to angle F. Angle B is congruent to angle F, which makes sense if you think about if we knew the measures of the angles. If C was 20 and A was 30, and those were congruent to E and D, then 20 and 30 would give me 50, so both of the other angles would have to be um, the specific value because you would add and subtract from 180. Make sure you submit these videos.